one second while I sync both cameras. And it won't be long. I got it. Greetings, unsettled souls! Welcome to the Correct Views. Sam I beat again uh, with uh, political commentary here. Media speaks. You might have read my work with the conservative Daily Post. I'm in the band Passing Time, and I am currently hosting what you are watching, a show called The Correct Views, guys. Thank you for tuning in, and we're going to get straight into it today. I want to remind you that we are listener-supported. That means that none of the work that Christelle and I do here, the behind-the-scenes queen, none of, it, none of it counts. We don't get paid a single penny unless you donate. And you can do that at the correct views at hotmail.com. You can donate through PayPal. And we got low def up there, uh, high def down there. Uh, low def, I can go straight to a screen share here, and I'm going to. Here's the reason we can't make money on YouTube anymore, by the way, for those of you that want to know. YouTube slams real news with age restriction. That's their newest ploy. Now, what they've been doing, for those of you that don't know, is they are, they've been moving for quite some time in a direction where if you have a thought, any thought at all, that isn't conservative, or, or, or that isn't liberal, I should say, that's even remotely conservative, then they won't let you monetize the video. Okay, I, I talked about a man catching a fish in his living room during a flood. But because my channel is associated with conservative talk, I wasn't allowed to monetize the video. And that's what we're seeing all over. Freedom of speech is being decimated. And you liberals that think this is funny, you think it's funny until it happens to you. We're going to get a real SOB in the uh, White House one of these days who is a lot tougher than you guys think Trump is, and he's going to use this against you. That's the way things like this work. And it's going to come back to haunt you if you don't have enough sense to wake up to it now. Oh, the irony, if you complain about the sexualization of kindergartners as age inappropriate, YouTube will slap an age restriction on your video. And Ron Paul is the latest to be demonized by YouTube, according to Julian Assange. So what we're seeing here is videos that are not even offensive are now being hit with age restrictions so that people cannot tune them in and share them. And if there's an, you might say it doesn't matter because a really young person isn't very likely to be reading politics. And in this day and age, that's painfully true. However, the, the bigger issue here is the fact that you can't share an age-restricted video on YouTube, and that means that it cuts down on, on, on Facebook and on a lot of other places, and that restricts the number of people who are going to see the facts that need to be gotten out there. That's why I ask you guys to hit share and hit subscribe and keep people knowing that there is a place telling the truth. Right here, it's the correct views. That's why they're called the correct views. Um, and there's a lot of people, Mark Dice, Luke Radowski, there's a lot of people who have faced this, and it's been a real problem. And I want to point it out because, like I said, it's going to affect all of us. I'm warning you now. Uh, moving on, a couple more stories to get to here. Officer arrested a Utah nurse after he was told not to. Now, you know, regular listeners know here very well, we at The Correct Views have very little sympathy for anyone who violates or otherwise abuses the Fourth Amendment. Got more and more viewers coming in, welcome aboard. Um, the reason for that is because we can see that the right, to, the right to be left alone, the Fourth Amendment, is being utterly eviscerated, destroyed. Checkpoints, uh, driving checkpoints, DUI checkpoints, uh, papers being shown all the time. What country is it that we are living in? And you have to ask yourself that. Well, this nurse did not want to allow her patient to be subjected to a blood draw without his permission. And he was unconscious. And he was in her care. And there's something called the Hippocratic Oath, which meant something to her. So this is what happened. And I support this nurse fully. Uh, Salt Lake City, a Utah police officer whose rough arrest of a hospital nurse has drawn condemnation, put the woman in handcuffs even after investigators told him not to worry about getting the blood sample he was seeking from the patient, the chief whose department said on Friday. So he was told to stand down and still didn't. What a jerk. 
Officers initially wanted the sample as a routine part of the car crash investigation, said Logan Police Chief Gary Bench. And yeah, so they could hit him with a DUI charge that he may not have even earned. And we all know that the DUI laws are outrageous. You could be perfectly sober and get a DUI here. Why? Because they make it so low that if somebody even free pours your shot, even at one an hour, you're going to be over. It's a money scam. If someone doesn't have a level two or at least level three, at least a level two DUI, chances are they didn't even earn it. It's just a money racket. It's, it's an excuse to steal money from people. It's that simple. And why does it happen? It happens because we allow it. Salt Lake City Police Detective Jeff Payne was told he'd need a warrant or formal consent to get the blood. Colleagues told him that he would pursue another strategy. He simply said, don't worry about it, we'll go another way. And uh, what he meant was, uh, he and the you can see the video of where he attacked the woman for no reason at all. That's police abuse. Payne nevertheless insisted that when nurse Alex Wobbles held her ground uh, based on the University of Utah Hospital's policy, Payne dragged her screaming from the hospital in handcuffs. Salt Lake City police apologized and put Payne on paid leave after a dramatic video of the July 26 arrest surfaced. Police spokesman Christina Judd said an internal review will look at the uh, directions Payne received and how he responded. He disobeyed them. That's how he responded. Um... And this is what we're seeing more and more and more. Payne was supported by her supervisor, Lieutenant James Tracy, who is shown on the body camera video continuing to insist the police have the right to get the blood when they do not look. You are not allowed to draw blood from an unconscious person, okay? The troopers, it said, had tried to stop the pickup truck for reckless driving, but the man sped away. The highway patrol said in a statement that the pickup driver was killed when the two vehicles collided and a semi-truck exploded and caught fire. And the patient was William Gray Rigby of Idaho, who had been driving a tractor trailer in northern Utah, when he was hit on head-on by a fleeing Utah highway uh, uh, by a man fleeing highway patrol officers. Well, maybe the highway patrol officers should pull over a few less people. Now, granted, if he was fleeing, then there's likely a good reason why it happened. Okay, I can concede to that. But police officers pull over way too many people. And I, I'm a supporter of the police, but I'm not a supporter of this. And that's why I can understand where a lot of the rage and a lot of the anger comes from. It needs to stop, friends. It needs to stop. And that brings us to the dum dee The dum dee dum dee dum dee dum dee dum dee of the day. Now, if you're not familiar with what that is, it is the single stupidest story that we have in the news cycle on any given day. There's our dum dee music. And we definitely have quite a dum dee story today. How many of you? All right, how many of you uh, would think it's a good idea to have a hurricane rescue station in the path of a hurricane? Well, I can tell you who does. The people that were attacking Donald Trump Jr. here, are the people who are getting the dumb D of the day. Um, he slams Michael Moore for asking if Mar a Lago opened as a shelter during Irma. Donald Trump Jr., armed with common sense, fired back at liberal filmmaker and blowhard Michael Moore, who questioned whether President Trump's Florida resort would be opened as a shelter during Hurricane Irma as it hit the state. It's on an island on both the ocean and intercoastal, and in the manda it is in the mandatory evacuation zone. So Moore wants Trump to open up his home, which is in, an earth in a hurricane zone, an evacuation zone. He wants... <laughs> Michael Moore wants the president to invite people to an evacuation zone so they can die. That's great. And it's probably not the best idea, but you know, narrative, Donald Trump Jr. wrote on Sunday after more question whether the Malargo would be opened for a shelter. A spokesman for the Trump Organization said Wednesday the Trump supporter, the Trump properties in the path of the hurricane, are taking all the proper precautions to ensure that everyone is kept safe and secure. In other words, they don't even know—they didn't even know if they were going to make it out of there. But they did more things that needs to be invited for more people to potentially be washed to their death. Mar-a-Lago Trump International Golf Club in Palm Beach and Florida National Golf Club Jupiter had all been closed on Friday, and millions of people in the state were told to evacuate as the storm approached Florida. Again, this is a bit older of a story. So, the great idea here is to let people into the evacuation zone 
so that they too can be in the path of the deadly storm and possibly die. That is liberalism in action. That is to say Michael Moore in action. It's absolutely hilarious. All right, friends, you've been listening to The Correct Views. I want to thank you for tuning in. I want to invite you to hit share and hit subscribe and please donate to the show. Please. You can do so at thecorrectviews at hotmail.com. You can donate through PayPal. Money you give to me goes to research, goes to awards. A better show for you. Thank you, friends. Good night. God bless.